this service is to make you to be what God wants you to be. And we cannot do that with people who are not ready. People who are still fighting the spirit of God. People who are still criticizing the service of God. People who don't even understand what is apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, or, or evangelist. Look at your life today. If you look at your life, you realize that somewhere, somehow, you are blocked. Somewhere, somehow, you are blocked. Can I tell you why you are blocked? God never allowed us to live in the dark. Now, you say in Charis, he is raising prophets so that we must not live in the dark. But we are still in the dark. We don't believe anything. We don't even believe anything. We don't believe that the God is raising people. If you read the Bible, you go read Kings, just go home and read the book of Kings, second, first one and second one, and the book of Chronicles. You will find that it was a prophet that God will use to bring a word to the king. And the king could not rule without a prophet. Amen. This thing is no longer happening now. That will find information from the prophet and he does it. Now it's opposite. Listen. The, the position, you must, you must understand this. God never wanted to have people who are called kings. He wanted a prophet to rule. You know, there was a time where the Israelites people, they reached a level where they found people who are ruled by kings by the time of Samuel. And they say, even us now, we want a king too. We want a king too. And now God answered them with thunders, storms. He came there, if you remember that. And he said, no, if the king if we give them the king, this, the king will rule against them. And that's when now they pray, Saul was presented. You remember that? It was not even the idea of, of our God. It was a prophet. From the beginning was a prophet. A prophet, God will raise a prophet, and a prophet will rule. God will raise, I'm sure you understand that. Amen. Look here. Now, though God allowed a king to rule. He made sure that the king also was, will listen to what? To the prophet, because he has to be directed by what? By the prophet. So that there will be peace, so that there will be victory, so that there will be success. It will be coming from where? From the prophet. By the time of King David, who was listening to a prophet who was called Natan. There was a prophet who was called what? Natan. Natan always will go there and try to say, God says this must be done this way. And this king was, he never, he never lose a battle. He never lose a battle. David will just go out because there was Natan behind. He never lose a battle. If we read about David, the Bible says he could kill, but God loved him. He was a man after God's heart. But he could, he could kill you. Even when he killed you, just say, go and kill them. And then you find that it was a prophet. But today, why are we losing? Why are we losing today? You lose a job, you lose this, you lose that. So, look here. Let me give you an example. So now, when David was old now, remember there was a young girl that was taken to the house of a king to warm him. And the Bible says he never sinned against God, this man. 
though they brought a girl who was more beautiful, but he never seen a girl. He knew what God did for him. And there was this Solomon. God told David, David, I see your desire. Because now you are staying in a mansion. But the, the ark of covenant is staying in a tent. His heart was, okay, he knows what God did. He wants to build the house of the ark of covenant. That was his desire. He said, okay, I can see. Okay, now I'm staying, I'm rich. No one defeated me now, whatever. But what makes us to be a contact of God is stay in a tent. He, so he always he was worried, I say, but always was worried of God. Look at the Ark of Covenant. Look at my mansion. I'm sure the house of David was equal to this, this church. But look at there. The tent there, when the wind blew, you could see that what if the wind blew and the rain fall in the Ark of Covenant? I was not happy. Now God came to him and said, I know you want to build me a house, but you won't do it. There will be a boy, a son called Solomon, who will do that in your position. He will take your position. Okay, look at this thing that I want to tell you. When Solomon was growing, there were older brothers. This is the night of dealing with older brothers. Tell them, this is the night of dealing with older brothers. The older brothers, the first one, you know, is this one who was a handsome man. You know, do you know him? Who knows him? Absalom. He was, he was handsome. He had qualities to take the position of what? Of Solomon. You can say, he's up Solomon. He was up, Solomon. Solomon was nothing. Solomon was just there, but this one was Absalom. Absalom, he wanted to take over when his father was still in control. And whereas the position from what God has spoken was what? Was Solomon. That Solomon would take over over his father. Go and read. You'll be, you'll be surprised to find uh, the, the plan of God there. There was no need to talk about Solomon there. There was no need because the Bible says Absalom was tall, handsome. He had a long hair, I'm sure blonde hairs. Even when he walked, everybody admired him. Solomon was nothing. And the Bible says he died. Remember, he rose up against his father, and one day something wrong happened to him. You remember? <laughs> now, when time was going, when time was going, when now this man called David could not get out, the position of Solomon was still on stake. There was this man now, the younger brother of Absalom. The Bible says he took it to himself and said he wanted to be a king. But the Bible says he never invited Prophet Nathan. That is the best mistake he has done. He never took a prophet to himself. And what happened? His name was called what? Adonijah. Adonijah, when he realized that, oh, his elder brother died, he said, oh, thank God, I got an opportunity now. And then now he called people, he killed animals. There were people who were praising him. The owner of the position was sitting very close to his father. And to extend that, Prophet Nathan, when he realized, he said, no, 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 no. Someone's position is tempered with. Let me go to the king. But before I go there, you go and speak for yourself. You, the mother of Solomon, 
go and speak because if this man can take over, he will kill you. He will kill you with your son. And the Bible says, she went to the king. When she was still be speaking with the king, the king was not even agreeing or not. Is then a prophet came to speak for him, for her. When she, she was still speaking, the prophet came to speak for her. And say, man, you said uh, the person will take a position is what? Is Solomon. But now Adonijah. <laughs> he is already doing one, two, three there. The position of Solomon has been taken already. And now the person that was speaking was a prophet called Nathan. The moment, you know, David here that he said, let us not waste time. Take this boy, use my car. <laughs> Carry him. You just use my car. Because if you use my car, everybody will know that it's me who approved that. Because God has spoken. From today, you must be approved. Look here. The reason why we are like this, wrong people took positions. It's a night of shifting. Amen. Let's shift the older brother. Amen. Those who think they are better than you, they must move. Amen. Adonijah <laughs> I'm just giving Adonijah a warning. <laughs> I say Adonijah. <laughs> you know, always when you just hear Ado, Ado, you must know, uh, you must know it's talking about Lord. Talk, Jah is Jehovah. There are some people who are called by the name of Jehovah, but they are just working against you. Today, those who are older in everything, who are taking advantage because of the ability they have against you, they must leave you for God's sake. In the name of Jesus. If you are here today, I'm telling you now, you have been waiting, prophesied, going to church, claiming the word to come to pass. Nothing is happening. This night, your enemy must be shifted. Tell your neighbor, shift your enemy. Shift your neighbor. Shift your neighbor.